Hello my dear students, this is Shilpi Saxena. Welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So in this video, I am going to explain the different evaluation methods, all the combinations of uh, prediction and reality I have already uh, explained in my previous video. If you have not watched, please do watch that video. The link is given in the description box. So please watch the video and then only you watch this one, then only you will understand it. Okay, so different first one is the accuracy this is the first evaluation method accuracy is basically the percentage of correct prediction out of observation made means basically the machine predicts either true or false means either uh, the 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 prediction is the prediction and reality matches or prediction and reality doesn't match so accuracy takes into account the prediction uh, the the uh, the circumstances where prediction matches the reality it happens in two cases suppose the prediction is true and reality is true or prediction is false as well as reality is false in both the cases the uh, the the accuracy is considered to be good so prediction is correct if it matches the reality it is so it means basically the formula will contain true positive plus true negative upon total prediction into 100 so how we calculate accuracy whatever is the absorbed value upon total values into 100 so correct predictions upon total cases into 100 correct prediction can be true positive and true negative in which basically prediction and reality matches upon total cases that is true positive true negative false positive and false negative okay so so precision is an evaluation method that is basically used to uh, consider all the positive cases into account positive cases means wherever machine is predicting yes either it matches reality or doesn't mat matches so wherever the prediction is um, treat wherever the prediction made by the machine is yes that event is going to happen that those cases are taken into consideration so prediction considered what, what true positive and false positive positive is the word that is used when prediction is true prediction is yes that time positive is taken uh, is considered so prediction considers true positive and false positive so if precision is high then true positive cases will be more few and fewer false false alarm will be there the formula which is going to which we are going to use is precision is equal to true positive upon true positive plus false positive means basically wherever the machine is predicting correctly uh, upon wherever it is predicting correctly or incorrect prediction wherever machine is saying yes so both the cases are taken into consideration okay now consider a situation where machine predicts the same example when the machine is predicting whether there will be rainfalls or not suppose every time it was predicting correctly but in uh, correctly that it is it is going to rain or it is the rain uh, the rainfall is going to happen and actually it is happening so it the uh, the case is true positive case okay but in some cases suppose machine fails to predict that it is raining and when it is actually raining so these types of cases are false negative cases false because uh, prediction doesn't mean uh, reality prediction is false that prediction is no and reality is yes so it is false and why negative because machine is saying no so false negative cases are those cases where machine fails to predict and it is saying no so those cases are not considered in precision so something should be there to take care of these things also so these situations are taken care by another evaluation method that is recall so recall calculated calculates the percentage of actual positives a model can uh, correctly identified when the cost of false negative is high so we should use recall means where there are few situations where we have to take care of false negative also for example forest fire suppose my um, suppose the machine is always predicting no 
ठीक है एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम देर इज नो फायर बट इन टू परसेंट केसेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज फायर एंड मशीन इज स्ट्रेट प्रोडिक्टिंग नो इन दैट केस द सिचुएशन वे मे बी वेरी वेरी हार्मफुल सो दे इट द इन दिस दीज केसेज वे सिचुएशन नीड्स टू वेयर फॉल्स नेगेटिव इफ फॉल्स नेगेटिव केसेज इज हाई द कॉस्ट ऑफ फॉल्स नेगेटिव केसेज इज हाई so in the, those cases we have to use recall because it is very important to take care of such cases so the if low lower recall may and high precision the recall if low recall is low then precision should be high okay now recall the formula will be true positive upon true positive plus false negative now in the difference between recall and precision formula is only here we have used c false negative and in the, there we have used false positive so precision is is uh, used wherever the cost of false positive is more and recall is used where cost of um, false negative is more so in this way we can uh, consider the two evaluation method now you can see that both precision and reality both are equally important so what selection but the selection has to be made between precision and reality where we have to use reality and where we have to use recall so already i told you where we have to where the cost of false negative is high there you will use recall where cost of false uh, positive is high we will do use precision but there should be something which take care of both the things together so that thing is basically f1 score so this is uh, this is an evaluation met model method which takes care of both the thing it, it is a measure of balance between precision and recall okay so if uh, we have a measure of precision and measure of recall so we can calculate f1 score by the formula i'll just show you the formula f1 is equal to 2 into precision uh, into recall upon precision plus recall so this score can be used to uh, handle both precision and recall together so what can be the ideal situation suppose both precision and recall have value 1 if precision is also 1 and recall is also 1 in that case the f1 score is ideal because 1 into 2 will be 2 and 2 upon 2 will be 1 so f1 score will be 1 that is the ideal situation means basically 100% performance 100% performance this can be ideal situation so f1 score is computed high when both precision and recall are also higher so we want precision as well as recall to be very high then only the f1 score will be high and it will be uh, considered as a uh, good model which where which where prediction is uh, where the accuracy is high and which is very um, which is a model which can be used to achieve the goal properly so model with the higher f1 uh, with the higher f1 score will be more reliable as well as compared to the uh, lower f1 score i'll show you the table where precision see where precision is uh, and recall both are low so obviously f1 score will be low when precision is low and recall is high ultimately f1 score will be low similarly when it is opposite then also it will be low but when both the things are high in that case f1 score will rise so um for good f1 score we should have precision also high and recall also high now we will just take an example how we will calculate all the things see the scenario is this one you have you have to find the accuracy precision recall and f1 score this is a four marker question which is asked in exam so i have taken this from ncert textbook so in the, in the schools a lot of time it happens there is no water to drink at fewer places cases of water shortage in schools are very common prominent here is an ai model um an ai model is designed to predict if there is going to be water shortage in the school in new near, near future or not so the confusion metric is given you have to calculate accuracy precision recall and f1 score this is four marker question how you have to attempt this first of all you will write false positive false negative true positive and true negative so we will see here you can see i'll just take a pen prediction is one and reality is one as i told you when both matches when both matches in that case 
it will be true and because prediction is saying one means yes zero means no by because prediction is saying yes so it will be true positive this this uh, will be true positive now come to the this cell this cell is intersection of this and this so prediction is yes and reality is no both doesn't matches output will be false but prediction is saying yes that is yes goes for positive so it will be basically false positive now prediction is zero means no and reality is yes when both doesn't matches it means the output is false but prediction is zero means it zero goes for negative negative so it will be false negative now come to this cell prediction is zero and reality is zero prediction is zero and the both matches so output is true but because prediction is false prediction is zero means no no goes for negative so it is true negative so i uh, i will just erase this you can see here now we have got the values so you have to note down all the values of true positive it is very easy question now you can easily see you will get all the four values that is true positive true negative false positive and false negative you have to note down this value apply the formula directly accuracy is true positive plus true negative into 100 upon true positive true negative plus false positive and false negative just put down the formula you can see here you can calculate directly the accuracy only thing is that if you are writing this correctly so this is this will be always correct obviously you are in 10 standard so you can calculation will you will not make any mistake in calculation obviously but the thing is you have to take care of these values which one is true positive and which one is true negative because confusion matrix can be opposite maybe reality can come here maybe prediction one can come here and zero can come here so you have to take care wherever intersection section is there what will be the uh, what will be the combination of true and positive false and negative next one is precision true positive into 100 upon true positive plus false positive directly put down the values and calculate the result third one is recall true positive into 100 upon true positive plus false negative put down the values and calculate last one is f1 score direct formula already you have calculated all the values just put it here and find the value now challenge two again find out precision recall f1 score for the problem so there is a scene given here traf of traffic jam so whether they will be able to reach school on time this is the confusion matrix given so what you have to do again you have to take care of intersection one one means both are same means true and prediction is yes means it is positive so if this is true positive i will just oh, oh, oh sorry i have not written this i suppose just let me check okay true positive false positive and we will just put down it in the formula you can see here all four values we have got these value directly put in the formula and calculate the four things it is very easy so i hope you understood these things all the evaluation methods this finishes your evaluation chapter i hope you understood everything if you like this video please like and subscribe hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day